it's Amanda here with Homeschool and Life, and today we have a very special guest. Uh, this is actually the guinea pig and subject of all the homeschooling I've ever done. This is my oldest. This is Riley. She's in the eighth grade. Um, so today we're going to talk to you guys about our switch from Saxon to Shorman for her, her math. Um, and I, th I think I shared about it in when I talked about like in one of our videos, everything we're doing for eighth grade. And that was one of our big switches this year. And so after we've been in it, I guess, I guess we've already done over nine weeks and we're heading into the second. So I feel like now we actually have a more handle on being able to give a solid opinion on if we like it better or if we don't like it better. Um, if you would have asked me the first week, <laughs> that first week, the first week making the switch was a little bit rough, but I think we have changed our opinion now to, do you like Saxon or Shorman better? Shorman. You like Shorman yes, better? without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's one reason you like Shorman better? Um, Shorman comes with a video, and I think the guy in the video breaks it down and explains it very well, and I get to write down all the examples and, like, work it out, and it makes me understand all the problems way better. Well... I feel like Saxon had the, the math lady, but do you like the videos because you don't have to wait on me? Yes. <laughs> I, there, there are video access in Saxon, but with Shoreman, like, every day she has to watch the video to be able to do her stuff, and um, I'm kind of sad that I've kind of, I don't get to teach it as much, but I think for you, you like being able to be like on I'm your own schedule able better. Able to just go and get it done when I want to. Yes. So, yeah. Um because he does do a great job in the videos. So having the videos is really good. Um, and do, like, do you feel like they're straight to the point? Yes. One difference between Saxon and Shorman is that this is the pre-algebra book. Saxon has, uh, how many, always 30 questions on top of, what do you call, a lesson practice, which is about 10 or 15, and then uh, usually a warm-up too. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, so there's a warrant. So you end up doing probably, I don't know, over 40 to 50 questions a day yeah. plus learning. So it's a little bit time consuming. But I honestly, I like it. I like the sacks and I like them having to do the writing and everything. But as their concepts get harder, you know, the questions get a lot longer. You know, one question could have, what would you say, six or seven math steps in it. Mm -hmm. So how many questions does Shorman have? Just 20. 20 a day. Is it mm -hmm. like bite size? Or are you thinking, I can do 20? Yes, like <laughs> it's much better. Yes, which I know a lot of people with Saxon, they just have their kids do odd or evens. But we've got, I've got a sixth grader, and he's still doing Saxon, and I still make him do every single question. But that's just for some own personal reasons. But so you've got the videos. It's only twenty questions. Tell us about the exams. Um, the exams, <clears throat> they have four, and it's like they're quarterly. Mm -hmm. And they're all time, and I think it gives you like an hour and 15 minutes, and it just makes me feel more prepared and like I'm getting ready for college and just having it like timed. And I don't know, I don't like yeah. That. So, like, you know, when you're homeschooling, you work backwards from your kids' goals. Like, if one wants to go to college or if one's wanting to own their own business, like, you kind of teach to what they're wanting. And do you want to go to college? Yes, yeah. So, <laughs> she needs to be able to take computerized timed tests, and that's one of Shorman's. Um, positive selling points is that they are they're taking ACT and SAT questions and they're putting those real questions in their stuff and so yeah like if I have a um test or lesson whatever during that week like if it'll be like an ACT question like it'll tell me on that question and so I'm like trying to make myself like see how fast I can get it done because I'm like I'll have these in college so yes yeah. or and you know for testing for scholarship yeah. purposes and like you know reading them slower so I think it's good um, preparation for end time goals. And another thing they have on the exam, like um, Shoreman, like you can make your flashcards for everything you're having to learn. And I think that's great prep for like a college semester test or, you know, just a compilation of everything you've, you've learned. Yeah. When you say, so, um, on the Shoreman website, I I'll put the link to it. It has a, like it goes through and answers a lot of questions between Saxon and Shoreman, and it's pretty accurate. But I would say our first week we struggled because the videos were very long, <laughs> like <laughs> like forty five minutes, and it wasn't like the, it wasn't math. It was like a lot of the math theory. And sometimes that's hard to listen to when you say. Yes. But now that we're 10, 12, 14 weeks in, those have lessened up, and you get more like. Well, how long are the videos right now? Anywhere from like 
10 to 20 minutes. 10, like, 20, yeah. 25 minutes, like a normal math lesson. Yeah. And because it's on her dashboard, she's able to pull up other lessons and go back and reference, which is a skill you want your kids to have to be able to be like, now, how did it say to do that? And as a parent, if you like teaching math, um, sometimes, you know, watching a video will trigger your memory and be like, oh yeah, I remember how to do this. Or like they have PDFs of the textbook um, and it triggers it. Now, I will say... There is no textbook for Shorman. That, that is that is one of my um, negatives. Not negative enough to not do it, but everything is on a PDF. So you have to like log into the computer, scroll down to the lesson, kind of refresh yourself if you're wanting to help teach, or you have to pay to go print off a bajillion pages. And me being tangible, I prefer to touch it. Like I hate everything being online. So, but it's a problem you can work around because it's not, you know, you can just print it off or you can just continue to go look at the lessons. So, what's something else? You made a list. You can get your paper. It's okay because <laughs> oh. I was like asking her from her perspective uh, besides just appearance. I don't exams, know. Exams. What else? It's a little, it just has like a good Christian base in it and like one week it'll tell me, you know, have a good attitude, give God glory like through your work and just like all these encouraging little reminders and I like yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, and it obviously does all the grading for you, which yeah. I know there's other math programs that can do that. But Shorman also encourages the parents, um, like, let them get it wrong. Like, don't run to their rescue. Don't show them the answer just for the grade on the computer because it just cycles in and out over and over and over to where they'll get it eventually. And so, like, really let their grade be their grade. And so when you start keeping credits, that's also a plus because you can just – Go ahead and jot it down. And we love on the dashboard, it shows what all the average scores yeah. are um, for everybody that does Shorman Math, Algebra 1, whatever we're in. So does your competitive nature kick in a little yeah, bit? So Tell I was us like, about oh, that. did I beat it this week? Yeah, like, so, <laughs> comparing myself to like the average. Yeah. So, yeah. so if your kid has a, would you say you had a competitive spirit? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Um, so like that's just really fun to know like, well, how am I measuring up to like everybody doing Shorman? So... Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that we would like to say about it? I think we got everything. Got everything. <laughs> so basically, for those of you who asked, Saxon versus Shorman, um, we, I do recommend it when they get in Algebra 1. The videos are great. They're excellent. It also has the written PDF, so you can go to those. So you're able to, they can do it on their own and practice learning. Um, which, again, if they're college prep, we have a good friend of ours who's in college right now, and she is on campus, but six of her seven classes are still online, even though she's living on campus. And so just being able to um, get information from a video is useful. The shorter problems are good just because they're harder. And then the – oh, and you have a quiz every single week. Yeah. And is it always over what you've learned that week? Yeah, and so, like, we, I never help her on the quiz. Even if she's like, hey, what was this? I'm like, well, you got to remember. But it's only four questions, right? And you can take, can you take the quiz more than once? Uh, I think so, if you get it wrong. But yeah, I never got it wrong. She never got it wrong. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so that's kind of a difference. So, Saxon, more work, more problems. Shorman, just more college prep on the computer, having to go back and forth. And the kids are having to be a little bit self-led where the parents can still be involved. And it very much gives God glory. It gives the Bible information. Um, I don't know. I'd like to know, what other questions do you have? So when you get ready to start counting credits, I, I would recommend it. What else? Do you have anything else, anything else you'd like to add? I know I'm putting her on the spot. I beg her every week to be in these videos. I tell her she never has to, but I was like, do it just for this one. Um, I don't know. I just like it better. <laughs> What's in it? Because you can do it on your own. Yes. Yeah. And how many weeks did it take you before you're like, okay, this is good? Uh, it was probably about four or five weeks, honestly. Like it was a little yeah. bit. Well, it was an adjustment. Yeah. Because with Saxon, um, that every, all my kids, well, she, everybody else is still doing Saxon. Every, you had to read your lessons, and we didn't really ever use the math videos. And so yeah. if they didn't get it by reading, they had to wait on me to show them. So, so like, everything was on paper, so I don't know. Uh, which I like. Yeah. So, but. anyways, that is kind of a random quick review <laughs> of our Saxon and Shorman. So, if you're keeping credits, we recommend it. <laughs> Okay, and one more thing, just um, if you like following along with our videos, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Lauren and I are trying to post uh, once a week, and we want to post what you want to know from us and kind of 
um, if something would be helpful. So go ahead and hit subscribe. And let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, we've already decorated for Christmas, and it's the earliest we've ever decorated. Can I point out your earrings? Oh, yeah. She I am ready for Christmas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so up in our upcoming videos, we're going to be talking lots of Christmas and how we homeschool during the holidays. So thanks for watching. <laughs>